Uh, I put the show on pause because I wanted to state this right now. Um, reliving this Breonna Taylor verdict, um, it, well, not even the verdict, the charges, it, um, it took me out. I have a friend who went to Louisville. Uh, he lived in Louisville. He went to Kentucky State. And he stated this two weeks before it happened, before the um, charges came up. He was like, it's taking so long because they're trying to figure out a way to not charge. Everyone needs to brace themselves that they're not getting charged with murder for this young woman's death. And it should be. I'm so hurt. I feel them pain, that them tears that Portia is crying because during that time, it took me back. Um, I'm all for the Black Lives Matter movement. Let's not ever get that twisted. I, I think, you know, there should be an added cachet. What's next? How do we fight what's next? I read um, Operation Breadbasket. And in that book, it actually gave me one of the, my famous lines. I just started reading this book, but um, for years, I've always been that person that tell you, uh, your buying power is your power. As black people, the Constitution stated we were only one-fifth of human being. So, we still don't have a lot to hold us together. So, you know what you do? You, you hit people in the pocket. You make them suffer financially. You kill those big donor moments by making it hurt them financially. I used to hear a lot of complaints um, in my old neighborhood about this store and the store owner was just trifling never cleaned up nothing barely mopped and um i never forget i went in there one day after school i was in high school and um the floor was sticky and i walked up to the counter and the guy said um I said, you know, the floor is sticky back there. Like, something spilled on the floor. I can hear my feet sticking to the floor. And his attitude was so. He was like, what you want me to do? I was like, somebody might want to go back there and mop it up. You know, hygiene. That's what creates bugs and roaches and rodents. And he looked at me like it was a, not a problem. Oh, y'all going to come in here and buy whatever. I, put, I kindly put the drink and the chips down and walked out. There are other stores. Just because you are around the corner, don't mean I have to go to you. I used to always tell that to people all the time. Oh, there is 25 other stores in this neighborhood. Good luck, bruh. I got that. I listen, I will get on my bike and ride a mile to another store. Take it from those who the Montgomery boy bus cot boy bu bus boycott. Hey, they was walking miles in church shoes and suits and dresses just to prove your dollars need my behind. Okay? For you to make a dollar, you need me. And people need to start understanding that. Arguing with Louisville and Kentucky about they raggedy racist wars, y'all need to start hitting their behinds in the pocket. When the Kentucky Derby show back up, don't go down there. If you work for one of those organizations, that by all means, go to work. But if I was y'all, if I was somebody black, the only way y'all getting some money is if I have to spend money. And that would be the park so I can go to work. I would not. I would make it so hard that they would never understand that you need me more than I need you. I used to get so upset when I would see people complaining about the littlest things. 
we're having issues now. Someone I know very well, um, there's a Detroit radio station that has very little reception in the first damn place. It's an AM station, of all things. But, um, you know, they're talking about boycotting it because of some of the racial issues that have been handed down by the owner. I said, quit arguing with that fucking man about that raggedy-ass place. You know what you do? Go get a list of his sponsors and contact them sponsors and say, guess what? All of Detroit will be withholding our dollars from your sponsors. I bet you he'll fucking figure it out then. He surely hell will. I need y'all to understand that. This was kind of scary for me to watch again. Um, Breonna Taylor hit me like Trayvon Martin did. It hit me so hard with Trayvon Martin, I couldn't sleep or eat for two days when that not guilty verdict came down. Because of the simple fact that um, the so-called stand your ground law that George Zimmerman got used, it was unfair to the young man who was actually standing his ground. You came and picked a fight and got your ass whooped. So you shot and killed him. Oh, but he was beating me up. Yeah, because you started a fight with him. And that's a problem for me. Um, I'm going to do a review on 